This is Africa right here. And at 12 p.m. Universal Time, the sun will line up with Africa. It always lines up with Africa at 12 p.m. Universal Time. To prove this, we can go to timeanddate.com and go to 12 noon Universal Time. Any day of the year, this is December 22nd here, but we can go back four weeks and it doesn't matter what day it is at 12 noon, it's going to show the sun will line up with Africa. December 22nd at 12 noon, it shows the sun right here. The earth is rotating. It takes 24 hours to make one full rotation for the earth to go all the way around back to the point it started at. We've all been taught the earth rotates all the way around for 24 hours, and that makes a day. And if you ever have somebody who wants to get technical with you, they're going to say, oh, it's actually not 24 full hours, but tell that to every clock you've ever had, because every clock I've ever had or seen counts 24 hours a day, seven days a week. The only time we ever change any time is when we fall back or spring forward and that's just an hour and it kind of balances out. So I want to take a look at 12 p.m. universal time because that means the sun is directly in line with Africa and it's always directly in line with Africa like I've just shown. This day in particular I've got pulled up is December 22nd. December 22nd is the winter solstice. And as you can see, right here would be Africa, and it's in line with the sun, just as it should be. December 22nd, during the winter solstice at 12 p.m. Universal Time, this is correct. The sun would be directly overhead. If you notice, though, during the winter solstice, the sun would be to the east or to the right of Earth, because we're going around the sun as well as rotating. Well, if we look at this, it shows December 22nd at 12 noon. The sun is exactly where it should be, and that's where it always is. This is June 22nd at 12 noon. The sun is still exactly where it should be. It's still right above Africa. Here's the problem. On June 22nd, during the summer solstice, Africa, if we are rotating in 24-hour periods, unless something has changed somewhere and changed drastically, like somehow we have lost or gain 12 full hours, Africa is facing space. It won't be facing the sun. If we are living on a globe and the globe is rotating in 24 hour periods every day, just like all of our clocks say, every clock you own counts 24 hour days and presumably each and every day when it's noon, in your time zone, wherever you live, the sun is supposed to be directly above you. Yet what we observe here is this is correct, but this completely falls apart as our earth going around the sun gets to the opposite side of the sun. When the sun is to our west or to our left and not on the east or to our right, it's the opposite. The sun will be lighting up this half of the earth, not this half of the earth. Presumably, all of these earths on this picture is at the same phase of their rotation around the axis because we can see the same thing, right? If it's 12 noon universal time over here, it should be 12 noon universal time over here too, except for Africa is facing space. So it's like Africa is at midnight, and it's not facing the sun. But what we observe on June 22nd at 12 noon is Africa is facing the sun. Does this make sense to you? This is blatant proof that we are not on a spinning globe going around the sun. We can't be. There's no way that these globes can be in the same phase of their rotation because it's the same time and 12 noon has Africa facing space. It has to be facing the sun. There's no way around it. Satan is deceiving the world with the sphere earth. He's using it for evolution. He's using it with the Big Bang Theory. He's going to be using it for the 
aliens that are soon to come, I'm sure. He doesn't want people to have a need for God. He doesn't want people to have a need for a creator. He wants it to all be random. This to me proves that we are not spinning. Unless somebody is breaking in all of our houses and changing all of our clocks like four minutes a day each night, so somehow it's midnight for Africa over here, then the globe's a lie. And it has to be, and there's no way around it. Please, if there's a way around it and you can debunk this, make a video and show us all how this is incorrect. I would love to see it. Because if it's gonna go to this, if this is what your video is gonna be about, tell that to every clock I've ever owned because they all just go to 24 hours a day and no clocks take this into account and the sun is still above our heads at noon every single day as it's always been for the last 6,000 years earth is not spinning we are not a sphere that is moving the Bible is very clear that we are not moving realize that Satan has deceived the whole world NASA is deceiving the whole world don't underestimate your enemy even the very elect could be deceived if it was possible the Holy Spirit will show you the truth He's honestly trying to tell us that we are going at over a million miles an hour right now. Look outside. Do you feel like you're going over a million miles an hour? Almost two million miles an hour right now? No. Do you see Neil deGrasse Tyson debating anybody on this? The wisdom of this world is foolishness with God. And I'd be willing to bet that the wise that is taken in their own craftiness is the very wise that are living today. And that are telling you that you're on a spinning globe and that you came from a monkey when nothing exploded billions of years ago into a bunch of perfect spheres. I mean oblate spheroids. I mean pear-shaped planets. The Bible holds the truth. And it always has. Thanks for watching, guys.